Okay, so in this video, we'll talk about presenters. Now, ideally, presenter is basically a fancy term to define a class which can encapsulate some of the logic for your views. Now, there is something really important to understand, and that is you don't always need a presenter for all of your views. You only need it when you really want to do some complex logic and instead of doing it, in, it inside your views, you can do it inside a presenter. So let's quickly check it out. Very first thing we need to do is we need to register a directory where we are going to create our presenters. So I'll copy it and instead of saying register views, I'll say register presenters. Okay, and instead of views path, I'll say resources path and a directory inside it called presenters. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a presenter. So uh, I'll say resources, presenters, and a presenter for user card. And out here, I'll say class user card and make sure to export this class. Okay, and also we need to do one more thing is import a base presenter. So base presenter, basically we need to say require edge.js dot base presenter and basically extend it. So extends base presenter. Now, before we can really understand what a presenter is, let's complete the code for it, see it in action, then we'll come back and we'll understand it. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say at the right get users, which is return this dot dollar data dot users. Okay. Uh, next thing, when, whenever we are basically rendering our component, uh, we're going to do a thing called users is equal to users. And we're going to pass a presenter. So we're going to say for presenter, let's use our card and come back, refresh. Yep, everything works fine. And now let's talk about it. <clears throat> What's really happening is out here we have a component and we say whenever you render this component, pass it a presenter along with it. Now, what is presenter? Presenter is basically a string which is a reference to this class. Now, whatever happening is inside this class, our component will be able to access it because we are passing it out here, okay? Now, our component can basically access any property of this presenter. So let's say instead of saying get users, we have get users list, right? And if you come back here, uh, we can say users list, refresh, yep, everything is same. And if you want more idea of what exactly happening uh, underneath, we can basically add a debugger statement. So at the right debugger, uh, just make sure we are inspecting out here. So now we inspect, close the server, rerun it, copy the DevTools URL, paste it here, we render the view. Yep, we are out here now. So if you go to console and we say this dot context out here, we can see where we are inside. Uh, the user list dot edge template and we have a presenter object which is basically the instance of our user uh, card out here we have the dollar data property which is basically the data we are passing out here plus our slots so the slots are empty right now and the users is basically two and then we have all the properties on our class like the users list right which is basically a getter now you'll be thinking, okay, why do I need all this complex stuff when I can basically loop over my users without using the presenter? And that's true. You don't need a presenter every time. You just need it when you wanna do something complex. So let's say instead of just returning the users list, we wanna loop over all the, the users and trim their description to 20 characters. So we'll say dot map, uh, here we're basically gonna get a user and here we're gonna say return so, or most probably we can say user that bio is going to be user that bio dot slice uh, to 20 characters and basically return the user 
come back, do a refresh. Oh, we are stuck inside the Chrome DevTools. So get rid of it, rid of it. Uh, we run one more time, really sorry. Come back, yep. Now we are basically trimming it to 20 characters. Let's say we want more than 20. Uh, we can always come back, let's say 40. Get rid of the debugger statement to do a refresh. Yep, we do see 40 characters now. And the best part is it's basically the plain class and you can test it at any point of time without even rendering your views. So that's the reason we have a presenter layer on top of your views. So that instead of writing all the code somewhere else, you can keep all of your presentation logic inside this class. And if you don't want to render view, you want to return JSON, you'll basically return the actual data instead of undoing the changes. Also, one more thing uh, out here, we have basically passed the presenter to our component. If you want to pass presenter to your actual view, you can do it by saying dot presenter and the class name that you really want to pass. And it needs to be a string and Edge will basically figure it out by looking at inside the presenters directory. So yeah, I believe that's very much all from the presenters video. In the next video, we're going to explore something else. See you.